The Philippines set to debut on the FIFA World Cup stage. Now we're joined by the next generation of Pinay athletes following in their footsteps. Fresh from their stint at the AFF Under-19 Women's Championship in Indonesia, we're joined by Nick Duran, Jada Bisiero, Marika Chua, along with the youngest teammate, Ooh. Coach Mariel, still <laughs> with us to help us out here. Marika, let me start with you. Just, just tell us about the experience. You know, um, I, we let's not concentrate on results in a situation and in faces like these, Mariel. Let, let's talk about the whole. It was like it was really good. Like, I'd probably say, like, the biggest takeaway was just, like, how, like, other countries, like, the neighboring countries play and everything, and, like, how, like, you've got to, like, be... <laughs> how different did it yeah, is? Like, yeah, like, it's, like, different, because, right. like, it's, like, different levels in different countries, so, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Jada, you take a look at that experience and uh, being able to represent the country, especially with what the Filipinas are doing right now. Uh, how how does it feel being part of yung system na to, this youth this youth uh, program this pipeline to be able to develop uh, and of course having to learn what steps you need to take going forward. I feel like what I got most is that it's a privilege, especially mm -hmm. since um, we all tried out. We all we're all coming from different um, schools, different provinces. I think it's a, really a privilege that we're in this spot and we have a chance to make it to the youth and to represent and to also be behind them it's though like um though we have we had many struggles i feel like it's a stepping stone mm -hmm. that we are able to play like this and able to um learn from our seniors mm -hmm. uh, uh nick what is the some of the learnings from that the struggles uh, from the experience i don't mm, the learnings were like how we handle the pressure okay and Especially for me because it was my first time. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know because I was just, uh, Coach Joyce told me that I was just recommended to the national team. And I want uh, Coach Let that I want to the, earn the trust of Coach Let of uh, introducing me to the national team. And I hope I didn't disappoint her at that. So, Mariel, did she? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Nick was part of the FEU team that played in the UAP and that was the recent champions. Yeah. And um, for her to have her first international game, hindi siya halata. Mm -hmm. So she really played out. And even, even the girls, we, they, we, uh, we told them that, you know, you can't ask anything more from them, even from a loss against Myanmar. We led them 1-0 at the half mm -hmm. and kind of just gave, um, you know, they scored two against us in the second half. But you can really see that the girls gave everything, left everything on the pitch. So, um, unfortunately, it, it, was, it resulted to a loss, but I think there's a lot of learnings and takeaways right. from there. And hopefully, that from, from their experience, they continue to build on what they experience and what they learn in the tournament. Well, Marika, I gotta ask the highlights of the whole experience for you, and what are you looking forward to uh, in the coming months and then the next experiences for you? Um, I'm definitely like looking forward to like putting what I learned in this tournament into like just like when I play my regular games back mm -hmm. home and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. so let's see. We want to see that development too, and of course, our really quickly right before we go, they they mentioned. It's a privilege representing the Philippines. It was your first time. Can you tell us how it felt actually playing with the Philippine shirt on? Uh, it was so surreal because um, I just got the message uh, Friday night. <laughs> Friday night, I was like, someone like just asked me like, are you flying back to Manila already? I was like, I don't know I'll be back by June 25th because that was the date Coach Let gave us yeah. to go back to the dorm. And I was like, I don't know. It's <laughs> like, why would I go back that early? They were like, because Coach Joyce mentioned your name during the huddle, and I was like, Coach Joyce, I didn't receive any email, any message, or anything. I so big lad, you were surprised. Yeah. Uh, it was like, and Saturday midnight, I got the email from PFF. Yeah. And I like, I was like, is this real? I was like that, and I, uh, Coach Joyce, I reached out to Coach Joyce, and Coach Joyce like talked to me. It's like, okay, give me your number and what province you are now, and. I will book, PFF will book your ticket and that's it. I flew to Manila Wednesday. <laughs> well, okay, uh, Nick, that I did not expect that. <laughs> but uh, you know what? We'll get more into that uh, at a later date. But girls, again, thank you for representing the thank Philippines, you so much. and we can't wait to see what's up next for you. Yeah, thank we're you. we're looking forward for more for the three of you and the rest of the team. Maria, it's good to see you again. Thank, thank you very much for thanks being here. Thanks for having us. Nice. Thank you. Thanks.